there's no doubt that international money is having an impact on markets. Um, how, to what extent in Austin, you know, I think, you know, it remains to sort of be really flushed out. Uh, but Houston, there's no doubt it's happening. Um, Vancouver, Canada, there's no doubt, absolutely no doubt that it happened there. Uh, Toronto market, there's no doubt. San Francisco, Seattle, LA. So there's no doubt. You know, the affordability crisis does have, unfortunately, as one of its causes, the influence of international money, of foreign money. Uh, what we do about that is, is unclear, what the best policy options is unclear, but I feel like something's going to happen, something has to give. Uh, my name is Robert Hahn. Uh, I am the managing partner for 7DS Associates. I've been in this since about 2009, but in the industry since about 2004. So my feeling on the international trends, I think, in the United States is the last 10 years or so, it's really grown, right? It's really exploded into realtor and public consciousness. But we can't think of the U.S. in sort of isolation. I don't see it that way. I think it is more of a North American market that includes Canada. And in Canada, there's been some changes that, you know, like Vancouver and British Columbia specifically, that I feel like have sort of pushed some of the activity down south to Seattle, San Francisco, L.A., and then east towards Toronto and elsewhere. Um, the southern markets, you know, so more Houston, Dallas, uh, Miami, that area, it just feels like the demand continues to grow. Uh, the international demand is fairly strong. And I think it might be because, you know, with the global economy and the global political scene being what they are, the United States isn't perfect, but we're, we're sort of the cleanest dirty laundry in the, in the hamper. So I feel like as long as that remains the case, as long as, you know, we don't do anything crazy and the economy sort of remains uh, under up, slightly up, then I think we'll still continue to see tremendous uh, activity. One of the interesting things I think is when you think about Texas, you know, Houston, Austin, Dallas, you, know, you tend to think of uh, money coming from Latin America, right? Like Houston market, Mexican, uh, inter in that Mexican nationals buying properties is a big, big part of, of some of the price growth, especially in the high end. I think what we're seeing though is more and more as um, at least the three, you know, three, four major cities, right? Houston, Dallas, Austin, San Antonio continue to become more of an international city. I find that the money's coming in from all over. And I, what I'm hearing um, is the Asian money especially is a major influence. Well, so if you want to continue the conversation, I think most people know that I write a blog called Notorious Rob. Uh, so you could Google that. And uh, if you want to find more about me, uh, you can find me at robhan.me.